Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today we are going to talk about eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to do my my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2020 but at the same time like a palette that I'm going to remember from 2020 was it strange to say I don't know and these are no ranking these are not palettes that like has come out 2020 these are just palettes that I some of them I have had for years but I like discovered 2020 and uh, yeah so I think we just get started maybe I can start with the palettes that are really old in my collection so the first one I just want to mention is Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love this I had a series in the beginning of 2020 the palette of the month where I took a palette and did like four, three or four looks with it and I took this and I when I used this I like remember how good it was so the palette looks like this it's only eight pants but they are super big and these are just some of the most amazing shades I have like the shimmers are amazing and the mattes are really really good I would wish for like one maybe lighter matte but this works and the, the shimmers amazing and uh, yeah I've had it for a really long time I loved to use this. The next palette is also a palette that I had in palette of the month. I think I had this in March or May. March I think. And this is a palette I really really wanted it. Uh, I bought it and I didn't like use it at all but it is the Moondust palette from Urban Decay. This is more like a topper palette and now when I'm more like used to wear makeup, I have some new techniques and everything. This is so much better than the first times I used it. This is only eight shades as well and it is just such a nice palette and to do like a topper or take a glitter glue and just really deepen it down. So this one I am hope that I will use it more now this year but I really loved it when I used it last year amazing palette now I understand what everybody was talking about this is a brand that I discovered last year or this is a brand that I fell in love with last year and I really really love this palette both the look of the palette and the shades and it's the Moonspell palette by Lunar Beauty I use this as a palette of the month and I, I just love it, like the packaging of this is 10 out of 10. It looks like this. And the one thing I really, really love about this, it's purple row and a neutral row and then a green row. So it's really easy to just look at this and know what you want to do. And this is a really good palette. I love everything about it. Maybe we can go into Colourpop. I actually have two palettes from Colourpop. I have to say that this Blue Moon, this was like the palette where I fell in love with blue eyeshadow. I really, really like this palette. It's the monochromatic blue palette and I did a free looks one palette with it. I loved it. I love to play with this. and. It is just such a good like beginner palette with blue and I think that's why I have liked it so much and I think it is like the perfect blue palette. I don't need anything more, I don't need anything less. It's just an amazing palette and yeah, I fell in love with blue with this one. The other Colourpop palette is palette that is pretty new I think I bought it in I don't remember <laughs> but it is the whatever palette I start to use this in 
October, I think. And the thing I love about this is it's such like, it's a really dark palette. It has a pressed glitter. I hate it, but it is a really, really nice palette. And I think this is one of the Colourpop palettes that looks better in real life than on Colourpop's website. And it is just such a nice palette. I really love this like deep, deep shade here. It is an amazing shade. And this is just, it's so good. It's such a good palette and I'm so happy that I bought it. And I want to use it so much more. Maybe I should go into Nabla. I have two palettes from Nabla as well. Uh, one is this, one of the six pan palettes, one of the cute palettes. And when I used this, like in my first impression, I was in love. And I have used, maybe this is not a standalone palette for me, but I have used it together with some other palettes and it is the Platinum palette. Me as a color lover, I don't know, but it is just something with this one, and it's a cold tone palette as well, and I usually, I f think I like warm tone more, but this is just like a dream, and I love to use it together with a red lip. I think the shades are so beautiful, and this is my favorite cute palette, and is so so good and the other palette from Nabla I think this might be my favorite palette of last year even though I said I'm not going to rank them but I think this might be my favorite palette and it is the secret palette I don't know what it is with this that makes me love it I have no idea it looks like this I it's just something about it I love that it has like a matte pink and a shimmer pink and matte green and a shimmer green and it is just it's just something about this that makes me love it and sometimes when I just sit down and play with makeup maybe I'm going out or something I pretty often <laughs> actually use this and it is just something about this that makes me love it. And I can't do this video without talking about the Sweet Shop palettes from BH. I jumped on the train. I bought five of the palettes, all the colorful palettes, and I just love them. And I'm just taking out the bubble gum and sherry on top. But these are amazing. The quality on these are it's so good, all the palettes are the same quality. And one thing that I really, really love is in all the palettes, they are like the same. The top row is shimmers and the bottom row is mattes and it's go from light to dark in both. And I did a video where I tried all the five of that I got and I just, I was just blown away by all the shimmers, all the mattes, and like the bubblegum palette, this blue palette, like this super dark blue is such a good blue. And I just think they did an amazing job with this and i so happy that I bought them. I love them. It was absolutely some of my favorite palettes I tried last year. Then we maybe can go into one of my absolute favorite brands, that is Kaleidos. I got this palette in PR, and I'm going to talk about another palette as well. But this is the Escape Pod. I love that Kaleidos did a bigger palette than a six pan. Um, it looks like this. I think the first time I used it, I wasn't like that overwhelmed or... I wasn't that like thrilled about it, but then I've used it more and I really, really do love it. The thing that I think put me off or threw me off the first time is that the shimmers, some of them are more like toppers, but it is such a good palette. It squeaks a little bit though. 
second. Now I can't close it. It is such a good palette. I think it is so, so good. And I, this is also a palette that I want to use more this year. And the other palette from Kaleidos, I didn't get this in PR. I bought it myself. I had it, I don't know if I had it as a favorite last year, but I have fallen in love with this. And sometimes it's hard for me to not use this palette and it's the sci-fi green. I love my VR Neon, I love like all my palettes from Kaleidos, but it's something about this sci-fi green that's just, I just love it. Maybe it is because of the shimmers in this, because they are amazing and the black one is amazing as well, but this is just a palette 2020, or last year, I don't know what to say. I really fell in love with the green and especially this one. And then the last thing, or the last eyeshadow I want to talk about um, is Lethal. I have bought so many shades from Lethal this year. I bought like pre-made palettes, I bought the Yulina palette and I bought a lot of shimmers. Here I have my green and the blue shades. It's just amazing shades. I love them so so much and I think all like the shades has the same quality this I think this might be my favorite colors but this is my thing and it is just such good colors all the ones I've tried and I really love lethal and it's going to be fun to see what they are doing this year but I think I tried Lethal the first time in October 2019 and then like 2020 I fell in love with them back then and then like 2020 I it was a serious relationship I I love them and uh, yeah that was actually all the palettes I want to talk about this feels might a strange favorite eyeshadow palettes of the year but I don't know if I can rank them and I think I played so much more with different colors last year than I did before and these are just some palettes that I really love even though I didn't buy all of them last year because I think you can like fall in love with the palette again or maybe you learn like a new technique and the palette is amazing even though it wasn't that the first time hope you get what i mean but yeah that was all for this video i really hope you liked it i'm going to try to have a better like setup i don't know the studio lighting i don't know the lighting why am i so bad at lighting i don't know but yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!